are the dawn dolls? I like Barbies, but they're tiny. They're from the 1970s. They're made by Topper. Mama's taking over my channel. These toy talks is going to be Mama's toy talk. came with seven different Dawn dolls. The first one, and the most iconic to me, is the Majorette doll. My cousin had this doll when I was little and I always wanted her. She has a really neat action where if you move her arm, her other arm follows, and if you can get this spinning, she can twirl in multiple different ways. So this Majorette Dawn is actually missing two parts of her outfit. If you look here, there should be some silver trim on her boots that is clearly missing. And she usually has a little plume in her cap here that is also missing. However, she does have the little metal hook that is supposed to be on the back of her costume, as well as her little white undies. So this doll is a little bit different than the standard Dawn dolls. Because of the design of her arms, you can actually see some of the metal right there and right there. Also, her right hand is designed specifically to hold the little baton, and it just pops out like that. This Don has some, looks like some loose legs at her hip joints. You can see they're pretty shaky, and there's a little bit of a gap in between her leg and her hip. And the bottom of her feet look good. She's got a little yellowing, it looks like, right here. Probably some, you know, old glue just aging, and she has some light discoloration to the sides of her face here. Not sure if above her eyes is discoloration or if that is just a <laughs> the style. This Don doll is known as Long Locks. She has nice, silky smooth, long brown hair. She's not wearing her original outfit, but she is wearing an original Don dress. It's kind of a orangey red with a nice gold trim. And she has her cute red shoes on. And you can see the little pearl button on the back side of the dress, those closures there, as well as her Dawn undies. Here is Long Locks without her clothing on. Her hip joints are also a little bit loose. You can see the gap between the hip and the body. She also has some light discoloration all around her face and head. A little pink spot there by her ear and a few pink spots there on the back of her head as well as some light discoloration to her legs her waist is pretty loose too overall a cute girl though this doll is called jessica she's wearing what is supposed to be a stewardess outfit it's a little knit striped mini with a cool wide white belt and her little cap comes off. You can see she's one of the versions of the Dawn doll that has the short hair. She is missing her shoes, but she does have her original undies on. Here is Jessica without her clothes on. Just like the other lady, she also has the, the gap in the loose hip joint, as well as an easily turnable waist. Light discoloration to her rubbery legs. And also some light discoloration around her face with a little black spot on her forehead as well. This fine gentleman is Gary, one of the male dolls from the Dawn universe, and he is, let's see, wearing his nice red pants and kind of a Hawaiian style shirt almost with his rubbery black shoes. Here is Gary without his clothes. He has some yellowish discoloration to his legs, if you can see here, the rubbery legs. He's got a few of those little spots that I sometimes see on dolls with legs of this kind. As well as a black spot here on his arm. 
and just like the girls, some kind of light discoloration around his you know, the peachy skin tone of his face. This is Ron, another man from the Dawn universe, and they made two different versions of Ron. One was supposed to have a chubbier face, and one was supposed to have a thinner face. I'm not actually sure which face this guy has, but if anyone knows, I would love it if you could put it in the comments section. Leave a message if you know which version this is. Each version of Ron came with a slightly different outfit, and this collection had one Ron, but two different outfits. As you can see, the two shirts have a similar print, different in color, and even the pattern is slightly different. The pants are essentially the same, and these pants have a small blue dot on the back side, while the pants Ron is currently modeling do not. I believe the hook on the bottom of one of these shirts, yep, right here, the hook, the side that the hook goes into is ripped. Ron's legs have a light discoloration similar to the one on Gary's legs, it's also a light yellowing, and then also those little tiny dots you'll see right there, there's a bigger, fainter but more blue dot right there, it's the bottom of his feet. And just like on the girls, his hip joints are a little loose here, especially this one. And the skin of his face has some light discoloration as well. This is Dinah, one of the dolls from the Dawn Modeling Agency. And Dinah came with her own little pink portfolio. And as you can see, there's still four of her little photos still included. Dinah is not wearing her original outfit. Her original outfit was called Pajama Drama. That was not in this collection. But she is wearing what I believe is probably a knockoff outfit. And I don't think it was made by Topper. And the reason I say this is because uh, it's, its closures are metal snaps, which I don't often see on the Dawn outfits. I could be wrong, however. And if I am, or even if I'm right, please let me know if you know the answer put it in the comments section. That would be a big help. Dinah's trademark was her braided hair, and I believe her hair is still in its original braids. She also has the loose hips that we've been seeing on the dolls from this collection, and there's something going on with her back heel here. I'm not sure exactly what that is. If it's, I'm not sure what that damage is. It looks like a little bit of torn rubber, or it could even be a little bit of extra rubber from the factory. I'm not sure, but uh, just take a look at that and uh, tell me what you think. Dinah has the same kind of light discoloration like the grain to her legs we've seen. And her, she also has the light discoloration over her eyes that could be eyeshadow, I'm not sure. As well as some more very faint discoloration to the skin of her head and right up there at her shoulder. Last but not least in the collection, we have Denise, another doll from the Dawn Modeling Agency. Denise also has her gold plastic portfolio and two of her original photographs in there. Denise is wearing her original gold go-round outfit, well, her dress and her white shoes, as well as her little white underpants. Uh, she is missing the faux fur stole that originally came with this dress. And you'll see on the back, she also has the metal hook closure there. And the other thing, the uh, hook on the side is intact. And she has some light discolored spots on her back there. Denise also has the loose hip joints. And you can see a little black mark on her pelvis there. And she has the waist that twists easily. The kind of grayish light discoloration on her legs. There's a little bit more right there. And, oh, it looks like her pelvis might kind of be split in the crotch area. I'm not sure if you can see that right there. It looks like I can kind of pop it back together, but it pops right back open. You can see the uh, discolored spots on her back there, and also the discolored skin around the back of her head. And up right around her hairline here, it almost looks a little green. The first outfit I found is called Huggly Snuggly. It has a rainbow knit mini dress with a cute little pearl button at the nape of the neck on the back side. The little rubbery pale yellow rain boots. A little mark there. And the yellow 
coat with the cute faux pink fur trim. Also has a little pearl button at the neck there. The matching pink furry hat. Adorable black poodle. Woof, 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 woof. And these little kind of nylon-y gloves, which I think must be hard to find because I couldn't find too much information on them. Huggly Snuggly. Another outfit that I found called Patio Party. It has these cute striped pants with the nice bright colors. Little hook closure on the back side that is still in place. We also have the green top, tank top with gold braid trim and two hook enclosures on the back side. The matching green rubbery plastic shoes as well. This is an adorable dress. It is a swirl mini dress. It originally came on the Dancing Dawn doll. It has a little hook closure on the back side, as you can see, and a little tassel on the front. The blue tassel is getting a little frayed right there, but still quite a cute dress. This little dress is another mini dress from the Dancing Dawn doll. Uh, it is a green and orange mini dress has a orange tassel on the front, just a tiny bit of fraying there at the bottom tassel. Nice little button accent. And the back side closes with a hook like most of the Dawn outfits. Cute little mod dress. This dress came with what I believe is a hard to find doll. Her name was Fashion Show Glory, I think. And she wore this little blue mini dress with the gold accent on the front. As you can see, the ribbons frayed on both ends and one side is much shorter than the other. Uh, on the back side there's no kind of closure or anything. I do see there's a, a frayed white almost ribbon right here and perhaps there was something across the back there that helped hold the dress closed. There's also the rubbery plastic blue shoes that I believe came with the doll. This iconic bright pink outfit is known as Glamour Jams. It has the bright pink vest top or tank top with gold accents and the double hook closure on the back side with both hooks being in place. All right, we also have what I think are palazzo pants, that's what they're called, <laughs> with the wide legs. And uh, here these pants seem to have a tear a little bit down the seam on each leg here. Not too bad, they do have the hook closure still in place on the back side there. Nice little pink hanger, the pink rubbery Dawn shoes, and a pink poodle, which, while it is Dawn and made by Topper, does not actually go with this outfit, but I thought they looked cute together being all pink. This gown is known as Down the Aisle. I know they made at least two versions of it, um, a pink version and a peach version, and uh, I believe I also have the peach version. I can show you that in a moment. This pink version comes with a little bouquet. It also came with shoes, which were not present in this collection. Um, it has a cute little underskirt with a lace trim. And as you can see here, there's a pink stain right there on the interior of the lace trim. And then also that pink stain kind of carried through to trim on the front side there, if you can see that. Here's the back of the gown with the little pearl buttons. And that little buttonhole right there, that tiny strip of yarn seems to be broken or strip of thread. And but the other two I believe are intact and still holding. All right, so there's pink down the aisle. This is the second version of down the aisle that I found in the collection. I've seen it described as peach. To me, it's more kind of like a rusty apricot almost, but uh, <laughs> I'm not a collector of Dawn dolls, so I'm not sure what the technical term would be. But there's a cute little underskirt, same design as the pink version, and the lace all around here looks good, still white. There is a tiny faint bit of pink on this right here. The back version of this gown appears to be designed the same. There's a little stain right there. And we have hooks closing this one instead of the little pearl buttons. And the hooks are still in place. 
This is the wedding gown known as Wedding Bell Dream. Features the white gown with a little underskirt here. And as you can see, the underskirt is also lined as well. Kind of a netted fabric. And the back side has two pearl button closures. The um, top one, the little thread hook still works. The bottom one, there is, a, you know, the thread hook is broken. It's still quite nice for a 40 year old doll wedding gown. We also have the little flower bouquet with the plastic flowers and some netting. And the veil, where clearly the pearl button here on the other side has popped off. Little flowers crowning the head there and the netting veil part. I know this outfit originally came with shoes, but they were not in this collection. You might remember this little pink mini dress from the Head to Toe Dawn doll. Uh, she was wearing this shimmery little mini with uh, silver trim and a hook closure on the back side that is still in place. Straps are still attached. And the Head to Toe Dawn doll had short hair and came with several hair attachment accessories. One was this cute little curly ponytail and that was the only one still in this collection. These items come from an outfit called Long and Leather. Uh, it had the very noticeable long white faux leather coat. You see the decorative you know, buttons are still in place. Inside there are two metal hooks and the thread here that was supposed to hold the top hook has broken. The second thread appears to still be in place. Interior of the coat looks like this. I'm guessing that's a little discolored, age discolored. And as you can see up here on the coat has some discoloration as well. Backside looks good, some light discoloration throughout. And the shoes, the rubber boots, dog boots with the little holes in the bottom. They also have some discoloration, but still quite cute. Oh, and a little, I think, pink tinge right up there see that. This dress is known as Pink Slink. It has the, you know, nice shiny fabric up there with kind of a fluffy ruffle at the bottom. The black and silver trim around. As you can see, the straps are fully in place. And we have a nice metal hook still in place on the back side. The collection contained a few pieces from an outfit known as Silver Agogo. It had two jackets from the same outfit, two purses, but only one pair of these, which I'm not quite sure how to describe them, if they're stockings or leggings or knee highs or even some kind of boot. Uh, but as you can see, the silver lame here has worn off around the top and is definitely thinning uh, down along into the toe area here. Uh, the jackets both have metal closures on the inside and we have the belt still attached all the way around. A few little pulls here or something to the lame. Uh, this one has some similar issues, some discoloration up through here. Um, also has the metal hooks inside and the back side. The purses look good. Both sides look great. Two pieces were part of an outfit called Sweet Dreams Princess. Uh, the pink nighty should have a little pink bow on the front that is missing. Does have the hook closure on the back side, and the pink straps are still intact and attached. The little bathrobe has the pearl button closure, and that little thread still appears to be in place. Uh, the bathrobe does have kind of like a thinning. I would say to the area below the armpit due to the, the holes that are designed into the bathroom. But um, other than that, it looks to be in nice shape. Color still nice and bright. These two pieces were included in the collection and they have been driving me crazy because I cannot figure out what outfit they came with or what doll they came on. Uh, I suspect this coat may not be actual Dawn. It's closed with uh, 
metal snaps, which I don't recall seeing metal snaps on a lot of the Dawn clothing. It does look to be about the right size, but if anyone knows who this goes to, um, if you could leave a comment in the comment section, I would greatly appreciate it. Also this green top, I'm pretty sure is a Dawn item. It has the same you know, the typical hook closure on the back. There's a little tear here and a Hong Kong tag, um, but I cannot figure out what this outfit or what outfit this might have come from. So if anybody does know, I'd love it if you could leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up.